Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another video in my YouTube channel and blog. I'm coming at you directly from my craft room. In fact, this is the craft mat that you see in my videos when I make a card for you. I don't know why I've never thought to film here, but because it seems logical that I would, but here we are. So today I'm going to be showing you my top five watercolor supplies. These are things that I use all the time, very often, and I really think they will benefit you if you want to get into watercolor painting, whether it's on your cards or in general. So I'm going to get into the list and I hope you guys enjoy. So this is my very messy craft desk. This is what you could not see when I was standing there talking to you guys. And these are the five items that I really recommend when you're watercoloring outside of your paints and your paper and things like that and your brushes. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is a water container. And this is the actual big, huge water container that I use on a daily basis with my water coloring. There are three large wells. Um, I mainly just use these, these front two because this one is a little bit harder to reach, although it is the largest uh, section of the entire container. But um, what I wanna talk about with this is you want your containers to be large enough so that as you're painting, and you know, you're adding water uh, adding water to your paint and then paint gets, gets in the water, you don't want it to change the color of your water so much that it's going to basically change the colors that you're mixing. I hope that makes sense. Um, if you don't have a really, really large container like this, you might have two containers. You might have one for mixing your color and the other for cleaning your brush. That seems to help a lot too. Um, I don't want to bother with having to keep those two containers apart. Like I always mix my I start cleaning in the one and mixing with the other and it just m messes me up. So I find that using just a larger container is enough to keep my water clean enough that I don't have it contaminating any colors. So a large water container. I ordered this one online. You can get it in a bunch of different places. I'll have links down below where you can grab this. So the, uh, kind of along the water idea there, um, I want to talk about having a smaller container of water or even a spray bottle with your water coloring because I use this quite a bit. When I have like, for instance, I just saw them, here they are, my Crayola paints. If I'm going to use my Crayola paints. They respond better to color mixing if I have them wet before I go into them. So I'll use my spray bottle and spray them down, add a little bit of water, or I'll take this eyedropper. Let me see if I can do this one-handed here. Um, this bottle, it just has an eyedropper on one end, and I'll just squeeze a little bit, you know, a couple drops in each one of these colors before I start. And that really helps just to get things moving. Okay, so a small water container or like a spray bottle. And I use this for my regular crafting as well, so it's multi-purpose. So the other thing that I really recommend, well, these two kind of go together. You need a hard board or a clipboard or something to put your uh, watercolor piece on so that it keeps it flat while you're painting and while it's drying. You're gonna get a much better result if you tape your project down. And speaking of taping, um, this is the tape that I like to use. This is the 3M Blue Painters Tape. It's semi-low tack. It's still got quite a bit of stick to it, so it's gonna hold your piece down, but it's not so sticky that it's gonna like tear and rip up you know, your paper when you remove it. So this is the one that I like to use. Um, and once again, I'll have all this stuff linked down below. And the last thing I want to talk about is paper towels because, you know, this is something I use all the time. And I, every time I watercolor, I end up holding a paper towel in my left hand, which is my less dominant hand. I paint with my right paper towel in my left. And um, I really like this particular brown. This is from Viva. And this is the one that has the, the slightly more narrow sheets that you can tear off. I like this particular brand because if you can see, it has a more cloth-like texture. It doesn't have any designs in it. So if I need to sop up some color on my project, it's not gonna leave behind strange textures. Um, along those lines, I know that this particular brand of uh, paper towel, they also have uh, ones with like colored prints on it. It's the same texture, but it has like a colored print. Um, I haven't tested those out. I have some, but I 
actually put them in the kitchen instead because I was worried about any color transfer. I don't know if there would be any color transfer because they're made to clean things up, so I don't know why they would want to leave color behind. But just to be safe, I'm using the full white um, cloth-like texture. And these are really, it's like a really thick paper towel. I really love these. I like to buy them just, you know, single rolls whenever I need them. So those are my five watercolor supplies that I really recommend um, outside of your paints and paper and brushes. These are things I use all the time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, hit that subscribe button and share it with a friend. If they're getting into watercoloring and you think they would enjoy just some additional ideas on what they need to have on hand, I would really appreciate it. Hit that like button and I will see you guys in another video very soon.